Hey everyone, I am super sleep deprived today as I got up five times with Miss Faith last night. She's almost nine months old. Let me show you her real quick. Drinking a bottle here. Hello. Five times last night. What's up with that girl? <laughs> She's like, I'm tired. I'm ready for a nap. And then my toddler is also teething and got me up as well. So I'm pretty exhausted. And just going through a really rough night and the hardship that that is um, brought to my mind as I was praying today what to share about the gift that hard times are. And I know that as a people throughout the world, we've been going through some pretty <clears throat> difficult challenges with COVID, with peaceful protests that aren't so peaceful, <laughs> political unrest, racism, racism, oh my goodness, I can't even say the word, racism, and dealing with uh, financial stress, relationship challenges, health challenges, and so on. And um, as I was thinking about the things that we've been going through individually and as a people, I was really impressed with um, how at this last conference, many of the, uh, the, the prophet and the apostles were talking about how this is the best time to be alive. And that really struck me that they're saying these are the best days to be alive. And I loved, there was a talk given, I don't remember the gentleman's name, but uh, I can look it up later. <laughs> he said how they chose joy after losing a, a, a family member last year. They decided that in 2020 as a family, they were going to choose joy. And then COVID happened and it brought a whole new meaning to that idea of choosing joy and that joy is something that we choose no matter what our circumstances are. And I was looking back on my life, even just last night, and we go through these hard times, right? No sleep, teething baby, woo, dropping my phone, sorry. <laughs> and these hard times are the times when we can really grow. And I look back on my life of the hard times of going through cancer and going through relationship challenges, mental health, you know, going, dealing with postpartum depression, um, all of these different challenges in my life. And I know that they were gifts from Heavenly Father. They were gifts from God for me to help me learn and help me grow, to help me become a better person myself. And when we go through hard times, um, they are a gift. They're an incredible blessing if we allow them to, but it's always up to us. We always get to choose if we're going to be a victim to that circumstance or if we're going to learn the lesson that life is trying to present us. It's almost as if it's a beautiful gift wrapped awful thing to go through so that on the other side, we become the better version of ourselves, right? And so when we go through those things, it really tests and molds our character. And when we rise up to the challenge and we say, no, I'm going to become better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to become stronger. I can overcome this. I'm not just going to go through it, but I'm going to overcome it. Meaning I'm going to elevate myself to a new and higher level. I'm going to surrender my will a little more to my Heavenly Father. I'm going to become a little more like His Son. I'm going to choose a little more compassion. I'm going to choose a little more love. I'm going to choose a little more, more joy regardless of my circumstances. I'm going to choose forgiveness. I'm going to choose mercy. I'm going to choose to see myself as He does. I'm going to choose to, to step into His perspective a little bit more despite how hard it is in our mortal um, existence. And even when we're in pain, even when we are exhausted, even when we feel like we have nothing left to give, we're going to choose to follow him. And when we do that, we find peace, we find empowerment, and we do become a little better. Yeah, preach it, baby. <laughs> we do become a little better every single day. And so I know that there is truth in that. The saying throughout the Bible is that it's it isn't here to stay. It has come to pass, right? I know Les Brown talks about that too and often in his speeches, but it isn't just here to stay. Oftentimes we think that this hard thing is going to be forever and we're never going to get through it. And sometimes our trials may last a lifetime, but it will pass. And so who are we going to be at the end of it? How do we want to look back on our lives right now? And, and do we want to live, look back and say, you know, I didn't become the better version of myself. I stayed small. I stayed stuck. I was a victim. I didn't serve others. I didn't grow. I didn't learn from this. And the pain of that regret of knowing that we had a chance to grow, but we didn't do it. 
versus Mm -hmm. I know that I did what I needed to do at the time and I became a little better and I did the best that I could. And I have absolute peace of mind knowing that it wasn't perfect, but that I did the best that I could. That is the greatest peace and joy that we can ever have. So as I turn my challenges over to my savior and I say, help me carry this burden, help me see it as you do. Who can I serve? Who can I help? Our hard times truly can become the best of times as we learn to become a little more like him and they allow us to become a better version of ourselves. So I got to go now, but I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for our savior. I love him and I'm grateful that he gifts us with challenging times because we are ready to grow. I truly believe that this this world, we're at a, a hinge point in our history and that the world is seeking healing as a whole. There's a, a, a shift and a movement that's happening and it said we're ready to grow, we're ready to do more, we're ready to become something more um, collectively as, as a human population and individually. And so Instead of saying good riddance 2020, I know a lot of people are saying good riddance 2020. I don't ever want to experience this again. This year has been awful. It's like, I'm so happy it's almost over. Bring on 2021, right? I'm more of the mindset of, yes, this has pushed us to our limits in many, many ways, but it has allowed us to grow, to innovate, and to become better if we choose to. So I'm grateful for my Savior, and I say these things in his name, even Jesus Christ. Amen.